Hey everybody, Erica Serwin here from Pink Bucker Designs. And this week is the middle of my 12 days of Christmas projects. I am featuring two, uh, featuring a different stamp set or bundle every day and doing two projects with it. Um, today is day six, we're right smack in the middle, window wishes. So I have another project on my blog. Make sure you have visited my blog if you're watching on YouTube. There's a link right in the description. Um, with a card, but today for this project, we're going to actually just make a tag for our craft uh, gift boxes. Now, these gift boxes were something you could have chosen as a freebie during celebration in the summer, so I have a feeling a lot of you have these. Um, if you don't, they are still available in our annual catalog. Um, they're very easy to put together. They make a great gift box for a variety of things. I'm gonna show you one that somebody gave me recently. It had some fun goodies in it. Um, but what I was thinking is maybe just some homemade cookies or you could do um, a set of simple note cards using this, this window. If you do it exactly like we're gonna do it on the tag and mounted them on basic white cards, I think that would make a gorgeous note card set and you could put those in here and give them as a gift all right so you peel off the adhesive the box already has the adhesive for you and you're going to press it into those sides got to burnish those lines make sure that they fold when you need them to fold all right now for the top you're going to do the exact same thing Peel those off. You can use your, your scissors or your take your pick tool that will help you get that backing off real easily. All right, and then fold it down like that. And it just closes like a clamshell, just like that. It already has the die cut in it, already has the window in it. Um, I received one of these as a gift, like I mentioned, and here it is. I thought I would show it to you. She put a belly band. This is for my downline, Kelly. Thank you, Kelly. And uh, she put some fun little things in it, like a um, hand sanitizer, um, some lotion, tissues, and my favorite Dove chocolates. Isn't that nice? So, you know, think about all the different things that you could put in here. Lots of options. All right, let's go ahead and make our tag. Now I've done a little bit of this ahead of time. You're gonna need to cut out two of these windows in basic black. And when you cut them out, you have to lay the, both the dies like this. It's gonna give you this outline you don't need, you can toss, you just need those middle pieces. And one thing I did before I cut them out was to put adhesive sheets on the back so that they would stick real well. I'm gonna <clears throat> mount this first on a vellum. So I'm just gonna peel off my adhesive sheets. Put that, I'm gonna put it down here. We're gonna trim that vellum off. So if you match those edges like that, then you won't have to trim too much. Now I'm gonna make an extra pane. This is from, this idea came from Melly Hyde, who is a concept artist at Stampin' Up! And I just loved the idea um, to make these extra window panes. So that's why you need an extra one. All right, so you put one down the middle and then this one, you're gonna peel off the middle like that. and Put that right there. All right, now let's see, mine is a little bit short. Let's move it over like that. All right, now take your paper snips and just trim off the rest of that vellum. Go all the way around the edge, like that. Okay, now let's make the decorations. We've got a um, piece of granny apple green and I'm gonna stamp the wreath in granny apple green. Then we're gonna take a piece of basic white. We're gonna do something a little tricky for this. We're gonna stamp this in real red on our basic white. We're gonna use the window frame die to cut that out. You'll see what I mean in just a second. 
All right, bring over your cut and emboss machine. And I think we can get both of these on here. The wreath will have to twist around. Well, maybe we got it the first time. I don't know. Yep, looks like we did right there. Twist it around until it matches all the spots. Now we're going to take this and, you know, I probably should have done the stamping second, but we'll try it and see if we can get it centered. Stamp, cut it out and then stamp on the, the arch that we create. Might be a better idea, but we'll see. Let's see if I can get it lined up. All right, there's our wreath. And woo, look at that, I did pretty good. So what I meant, what I meant by cut first is if you cut this out, then you can stamp on there and see exactly where you're stamping. It's a little bit harder to line it up when you can't see through the die, but it worked out this time. All right, so I've cut that off. I'm gonna just cut this in a banner. I cut a little slit in the middle and then I come from the outside corners and meet up at the top like that. Snip, snip like that. All right, now I've also cut out a real red bow from the same um, window, it's the same window dies. All right, let's get some many dimensionals and we're gonna put this wreath right up here like that. And then we'll get two more many dimensionals. And let's see if we line those up right good. There we go. And then we're just gonna use a tiny little, well, we'll use a glue dot for this. You could use a regular glue as well. Put that right there at the bottom. Now I have cut out a basic white seasonal label from the seasonal label dies. We need, here they are. <laughs> I'm like, they were just here. These are our foam adhesive strips. Mine are cut down just a little bit. And I'm gonna put this on here, down on the bottom like that. And then up here at the top, across that window piece. All right, and then you won't be able to see it as we stick it onto this tag. Like that. All right, let's bring back our box. And I pretend I have filled it with my goodies. We're gonna take the ribbon, tie that around up here, tie a bow. If you leave your ribbon on the bolt while you're tying it, you'll have less waste because you can just trim it off right there. I have the wrong scissors for cutting ribbon. There we go. And then last but not least, I have a small little clothes pen. I get these at Walmart or the Dollar Tree in their craft departments. And we can just clip that on like that. Now, here is the card we made in the other video. So you could even make a set of those and put those in there as well. All right, you guys, make sure you click the link here on YouTube, go back to my blog, check out the other Window Witches project, and go back a few days and see the other 12 days of Christmas projects. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.